I'm meteorologist Michael White with your Fox 10 storm tracker report, and that is Hurricane Ada making landfall in northern Nicaragua as a category four hurricane. Look at that well defined eye on the satellite imagery. It's starting to fade as it's approaching landfall, but this thing a behemoth with maximum sustained winds of 150 miles an hour just pounding this section of Central America. Honduras also feeling the wrath of Hurricane Ada as well. Early this morning, it's moving southwest at five. The maximum sustained winds are at 150 miles per hour, and it will weaken all the way back to a depression as it moves inland. However, you'll notice as it meanders across Central America this week, it starts to take a turn back to the east and moves back over open water in the Caribbean this weekend, where it will re-strengthen back to a tropical storm by Saturday night and just sort of meanders south of the Yucatan and south of Cuba. Whether or not it moves north back into the Gulf still remains to be seen, but it's something we'll be watching as we head in toward next week. But certainly this week, you won't have to be concerned with Hurricane Ada. Weather headlines. We've got a cold morning. Make sure you bundle up if you're going to be voting early. We're going to track Hurricane Ada. And as far as rainfall, we're not going to have any of that in the short term. We may see a few showers by the end of the week on the Fox 10 future cast. The sky cloudless today and for tomorrow. We start to see the sky go partly cloudy by Thursday as moisture levels rise out of the Gulf. Our temperatures are going to be going up. Both our highs and our lows will be increasing. And by Thursday night at midnight, the sky will be partly to mostly cloudy. Here's how the next seven days stack up. The high today near 70 will be in the mid to upper 70s for Thursday and Friday, and you can see a few stray showers possible as we kick off the weekend. Look at how much warmer the morning temperatures are. They'll be in the mid 60s starting on Sunday morning. Now we'll have weather updates throughout the day right here on Fox 10 News Now.